Welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about, um, we're going to actually introduce another character to the game. We're going to introduce Mr. Donatello. Um, and the reason I'm going to introduce him uh, is for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about a different way to assign, um, assign views. The way that we did it uh, back a couple of videos ago when we were assigning Sammy's view um, is one way that you can do it. There's another easier way to assign views that we're going to use for Mr. Donatello. And then secondly, we're also going to um, stick Mr. Donatello in the closet, close him in there, and we're going to have a, a, a background process then that, if you remember in Sammy's quest, um, Mr. Donatello, while he was in the closet, he was continually you know, saying, you know, Sammy, get me out, I have to go to the bathroom, and uh, all, all of that was happening sort of in the background, and you, sort of, you saw the words appearing on the screen, but they, they were... You know, they would just come up randomly and random ones would come up. So it's probably going to take us a couple, uh, maybe two videos to go over all of that. But, but I wanted to, uh, to go ahead and introduce what we're going to do here. So the first thing that we want to do is um, create a new character. Um, so we go up to the characters um, option in the project tree. I'm going to right click on characters and I'm going to say new character. And of course that just creates a new character. By default it calls it C character 1 or C char 1. Um, if you look over into the um, uh, main document editor, you see that by default it uses Sammy's uh, sprite. So that's just all default stuff. Obviously, we're going to change that. So let's go ahead and do that in the in the properties gr grid. Um, first thing I want to do is set the real name of the character to Mr. Donatello, and then the script name. Now I can't say Mr. Donatello here. I can't do this because um, script names don't allow dots and they don't allow spaces. So just for brevity's sake, I'm going to say C Donatello. C again standing for character and then Donatello. The starting room will be the same starting room. We, we actually want him to start in room one along with Sammy uh, in the main hall. In the start X and Y. Now this, let's go back over to the room to the main hall. We want Mr. Donatello to be standing in the closet, so we want Mr. Donatello to, um, to, to start about here. And if you look up at the mouse position there, it says 274.107. So we go back to the Donatello and it'll say 274 for X, 107 for Y, and that'll put him right in the middle of the closet, right, right where we want him to be. Um, everything else we can keep the same. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna assign the views here a little bit differently than we did uh, uh, Sammy's views. So let's create a new view for Mr. Donatello by going to the uh, the views, right click on views, and let's say new view. Now this view I'm gonna call V for view Donatello normal. This is gonna be um, Donatello's walking view or his normal view. And now we need to assign sprites to this view. Uh, by default, there are no sprites assigned to it. But uh, if you remember the last time, I did it sort of manually by saying create new loop, and I added a whole bunch of sprites here um, that way. There's an easier way to do it. Let's go up to the sprites editor. Let's scroll down to the sprites that represent Mr. Donatello, which are right here. 397 to 402. I'm sorry, to 406. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first sprite in that list, hold down the shift key and select the last sprite in the list, 406. Now I can right click on any of those sprites that I selected. And there's an option in the, in the context menu here that says assign to view. So I'm going to click that. And what this will do is it'll assign those sprites that I've selected to a view that I've already created. Uh, in this case, the view that I created was view number three, so I'm going to select view three. It asks which loop that we want to assign this to. Now, for Mr. Donatello, I didn't create we didn't create graphics that represent Mr. Donatello walking downward. Um, what we actually did is we just have two of them. We actually only have one. Uh, so, but Mr. Donatello can face either left or right, but not both. So even though this says down, uh, we actually used the same his his I think his uh, right his his right facing view for downward and his left facing view for upward. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to assign even though it's it's his it's Mr. Donatello facing to the right. I'm going to assign it to the down loop. And then it says, how would you like to assign the frames? Do you want to overwrite the existing loop or add frames to an existing loop? But we don't really have a loop, so in that case, we'll just say um, overwrite the existing loop. If there aren't enough frames available, then do you want to stop assigning the last frame or automatically overwrite the next loop as well? Um, there, there are going to be enough frames uh, available just because we've only selected a few, so we'll just keep it at the default. Um, and then it says, do you want to set all new frames as flipped? If you remember when I said, um, when I did um, Sammy's view, I, 
I had to go through manually and, and set all the all the uh, frames, all the flipped attributes to true for those that I wanted flipped. Well, this just allows you to do the, them all in one fell swoop. In this case, we don't want to do that. We don't want to set them as flipped because we want we want to keep them uh, the way they are. And then do we want to assign them in reverse order? Uh, in this case, we, they're in the order that we want. So everything should be set exactly like we like. So let's click OK. And it says the selected sprites were, success, were assigned successfully. So now let's go over to uh, our view and see see what it did. So here you can see that it assigned all of the views. Uh, I'm sorry, all the sprites to the view. Now I'm going to click Show Preview and click Animate just to see how it works. And that looks good. Mr. Donatello is walking. Um, he has a little bounce to his walk, which is exactly what we want. So that's good. So now let's do the other views the same way. Um, so let's go back to the sprite editor, and I'll do this a little quick, a uh, little quickly. Now, the same, as I was saying earlier, the same set of sprites can be used for actually all four of our views. So I'm going to just keep the same set of sprites selected, right click, assign to view. This time we want view three, but we, this time we want the view uh, loop one, which is him facing to the left. Overwrite the existing loop, stop assigning at the last frame is fine. But this time we want to set all new frames as flip because these, these um, sprites that I have selected are him facing to the right. We want him facing to the left because we selected loop one. So select all, set all new frames as flipped and click OK. It says the selected sprites were assigned successfully. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other two sprites, uh, the other two loops, and then we'll go back and check them. This time I want to assign the right, most, uh, the right loop, which is loop 2. We don't want them flipped this time. And then finally, assign to view. The last loop would be um, loop 3, which is the up loop. We do want them flipped this time because we want two of them to be flipped and two of them not to be flipped. So click OK. And you notice there were other there were other loops in that list. There was um, down right down diagonal. There there were the diagonal direction. So if you have you know if you have a character that you want a different view for him walking in uh, diagonal directions, you can do that. I know some of the uh, this later Sierra games did that. So um, I didn't have. I, I guess I'm not talented enough in the art department to do that. So I just. That's the way I did it. So I go back to the to the view. We have Donatello normal, and we have the four views. Two of them are facing to the right. Two of them are facing to the left. Let's just do a show preview just to make sure that that's uh, what we want. That's him facing, walking to the right, and him walking to the left. And of course, the other two are going to be the exact same. So that looks good. Now we go back to our Donatello character. This is just going to be a recap at this point. His normal view. Need to change it from one. To three, and that's all we need to do. Um, now let's go back and uh, assign the um, the speech view real quick. So we go over here to the views. We right click and we say new view. This time I'm going to call it V Donatello speech. Let's go over to our sprites. Um, the sprites we want for the speech uh, for Donatello's speech are 437 to 441. So I'm going to shift click and select all those. Right click, assign to view. This time we want view four. Loop down is fine. Uh, everything is fine the way it is. OK. Right click again, assign the next loop, which is loop one, which is to the left. So we want to flip these. Right click, assign to view loop 2 which is to the right and then finally assign to view loop 3 which is up let's flip those and that should be it now let's go back to our Donatello speech just a quick preview make sure it works okay Mr. Donatello is talking make sure that the left one looks okay okay great now we go over to the character and assign his speech view now to that new view that we just created number 4 and that's all there is to it. So now I've created a, a new character. Um, and I said these will span a couple of videos. So the next video we're going to take that character, stick him in the closet, um, put a door in front of him, and then we're going to get into how we make him say things in the background and then randomize what he says um, every few seconds. So join me in the next video.